my function this evening is to unveil the prophetic word help us understand um, what God is actually saying help us understand God's commitments to us as a ministry um, and then share with us our part it's called koinonia I told us that there is always a part God plays and there is always a part we have to play so um, that's what I'll be discussing second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 let's read it together please it's projected one to read now thanks be uh-huh stop how many times how often it says now thanks be to God which always always caused us to triumph in Christ and makes through that triumph manifest the savour of the knowledge by us in every place this is a very powerful scripture now thanks be unto God who causes us the word causes is, is not is not um, I'm looking for the best way to describe it so we understand I don't want to use the word assist that may look um, very inferior but that is the context in which this was written the word causes is not necessarily make us do it the word causes is like a volunteer I ask you whether or not you need my assistance are we together and if you declare that you need my assistance then I help you are we together now is a ministry of the Holy Spirit thanks be to God the Holy Ghost which causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the sever of his knowledge by us let me tell you what this means through the victory that we keep commanding he uses us to explain to the world what he has been trying to tell them about trusting him about believing in him so he says i've been trying to tell you god is good i've been told to tell you god is victorious but it looks like you need a pictorial representation you need a dramatization of that so i use a man and grant through that man perpetual victory so that through his results you will understand what i've been trying to say so god is saying this year i don't want to talk too much i want men to see i've been talking depend on me i've been talking i want you to prosper i have been talking i want to lift you but now many people are saying what is the difference between you and buddha and he says hey, Jimmy, come." I will use your life like a trophy to show men the benefit of serving him so the message will not be an explanation the message will be a demonstration something about your life will be an epistle are we together now now thanks be unto God which causes us always to triumph write this word down triumph let's look at it the word triumph is a very interesting word I'll give you three definitions number one triumph is the condition of being victorious the condition of being victorious the state where a man is living perpetually in the realm of victory is called triumph the condition of being victorious number two triumph means significant success or noteworthy achievement significant success or noteworthy achievement meaning that you do something that is striking not something silent striking significant success noteworthy achievement number three triumph is the celebration this is another dimension to definition now it's not just achieving things but the celebration or the public display of manifested success the celebration of it 
not just the achievement of it but the celebration of it is the joy and the celebration that is derived from a major achievement we call that trial the context of this when when you study when you study bible history every time the nation of israel fought with another nation listen number one you did not win that war if the king were still alive you cannot say you've won the war if the king is still alive or not yet captured that's what i mean so the apex of your victory was that you caught the king and you either presented him alive and helpless or dead and utterly mocked and the greatest way of mocking the king was to remove his head hang it on a stake and march triumphantly are we together so women and children did not go for war only able-bodied men would go for war and aside from those who married and they were less than one year in their marriage they were instructed by god to stay and spend time with their wives so that in case they died later on they had seeds after them are you getting the idea now so the women and the children would usually wait there would be watchmen at the gates are we together when the nation of israel or any nation for that matter defeated their enemies they would drag the king or hang his head and then they would have chariots with the spoils of that nation the spoils meant that all the treasures that were hidden are we together now the trumpeters would begin to blow a particular kind of sound every time the watchmen had that sound they would echo that sound to israel victory is coming god's people have defeated the enemy so they will now the you know how they welcome a president the women and children would stand sometimes they would throw flowers as the army triumphantly marched with the head of the wicked king who made noise for many years are we together now so that procession is called triumph are we together now triumph so they march gallantly and the king leading them demonstrating the might and the honor the reason why they did it publicly was that news should get to neighboring nations as a warning that in case you are planning to fight give up on time are we together so the bible says the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy it can reproduce itself so when you triumph over hell prosperity starts shaking because it's the same government are we together your procession of saying i am healthy lets the spirit of poverty know that something is wrong i'm coming for you this year i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will talk less and do more let me start by prophesying all this too much noise making and little result this year you will talk less and there will be mighty 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 results hallelujah you know when you watch people want to lift weight or fight wrestling they usually start with a lot of noise the other person will say look i've been waiting for us to meet and usually the stronger one just keeps quiet allowing the weaker one to rant and shout and all of that that noise is a strategy in warfare are we together now the noise is supposed to invoke fear that's why when terrorists want to bomb they will say we are coming to this city so they they create a a panic reaction are we together now that's why goliath was the only one shouting david didn't talk he only spoke once killed him and cut his head look let me tell you something eh? if you believe what i'm sharing tonight if you truly believe it your life will surprise you this year you know i think it was a jimmy i think it was you last year i was towards the end of last year i was telling him i said i've been sensing in my spirit that this year many people are going to break cycles you know there is a way a man is going through seasons you are laboring in the world but there's no manifestation yet but there is a way you step into a season you know that i've left this realm forever in every wise i kept telling him that i've been perceiving you know i was just joking it especially for our brothers 
I was telling him, I said, I said, my people will be blessed this year. I was telling him last year, I said, no, this year people are going to push through things by the Spirit. So for me, when the word came, I, I jumped and I celebrated it first for myself and prayed it for the house. Triumphant processions. Triumphant processions. Triumphant processions. Are we together? When Jesus called Lazarus, he didn't come out in secret. He came out before everybody. That was a triumphant procession. Pastor Alpha said something very powerful. There is no triumph when there is no challenge standing before you. Are we together now? The idea of triumph already gives you the attitude of a warrior. Are you getting what I'm saying now? which should already be descriptive of the character and the nature of the year that the year will demand certain levels of warfare certain levels of contentions forces of darkness you once were afraid of standing to confront by an unveiling of strategies you now will be equipped to go and fight them when Saul gave David his armory David said no no I'm not used to fighting with this God did not train me with this weapon I have my weapons and the Bible says the weapons of our warfare it says they are not man-made they are not fleshly they are not carnal but mighty through God he says for the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ then it says bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ say amen so this year you will command victory after victory after victory after victory in the name of Jesus Christ what is the basis of our confidence you don't make boastful statements like this in the presence of situations and circumstances i hope you know that the giants that stand before people are real understand this obstacles are real challenges are real the economic turmoil that is lashing on people is real are we together poverty is real terrorism is real death is real you see all these things plaguing the nations of the earth so what would give a people such confidence to come out and boldly speak before the world at the beginning of a year that has been predicted using all kinds of indices that is not a good year then you dare say it is your year of triumph first john 5 verse 4 let's look at two or three scriptures very quickly what is the basis of our confidence why do we make all these boasts when we have not even gone into the year physically first john 5 verse 4 media please help us he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is what born of god whatsoever is born of god not whosoever whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith whatsoever so if i am born of god i qualify to make that boast that even in the midst of turmoil especially economic turmoil i can dare to say that i will thrive i will prosper and i will triumph whatsoever is born of god this is the first basis upon which we can make such an audacious claim everyone shout it say i am born of god I, born. I know it sounds simple but i like you to shout it i am born of god, I am born of god. and so i overcome, and so I overcome. Mm. 
to be born of God is a very serious thing I know that religious people have made it look like um, I sat down here a few minutes before coming up and I watched the way Ejimi was taking care of his daughter the daughter would want to sit on his lap the daughter would want to run around and he would draw her when he was coming to celebrate January she's October but she was part of those who caught that kick because she was born of the celebrant are you together now and so while he's going for as long as she kept identifying herself as his daughter if another baby ran and came around ushers would hold her and say no no go back but because she was his daughter she had that access the birthday has nothing to do with her but she stood in front so the bible says whosoever is born of god must join him in everything whosoever is born of god overcome the world listen this is how to defeat darkness this world is a legal realm dominion is not is not jacking yourself you must stand upon keys demons listen they are obedient nobody breaks ranks the realm of the spirit is a legal system you overcome by presenting truths you don't overcome by wishing when satan came to jesus he said it is written and satan said i can't deny it both god and demons there is a rule of engagement the same way you fight war and even among terrorists they know that they are here to kill men when they see women and children they leave them they respect the rule of engagement there is a rule of engagement in the realm of the spirit whatsoever is born of god if my body is born of god it overcomes sickness if my finances are born of god it must overcome recession are we together now if i am born of god i must be able to overcome every charm every enchantment i can't stop them from gathering i don't even know whether or not they are gathering but one thing i know is the bible already gave me expo that the whole world lies in wickedness so, so it is not unthinkable to imagine somebody is planning only god knows how many demons are planning plane crashes for me this year car accident maybe even after this service i can join them in the discussion because it makes no difference to me i am born of god believe me i'm not making a boastful statement i don't need to say, avoid that talk uh -uh. i'm not i'm not running away maybe because i don't want to hear bad news that's not what i'm saying i'm saying it it makes no difference it's like a child saying i will beat you and then he's oh yeah beat me that's what you do with the devil the realm of the spirit has no confusion whatsoever it's a legal system you don't win by mistake and you don't lose by mistake everything is done through laws intentionally is god helping us tonight so the first basis of our confidence is that we are born of god everyone say i'm born of god what is the basis of our confidence john chapter 1 verse 5 we still have a problem there john chapter 1 verse 5 sorry about the um, i'm sure that may also affect those outside if so please we're sorry i'm sure they will be back asap john 1 verse 5 John chapter 1 verse 5 if you have it in your Bible please I'd like you to join me and read it John 1 verse 5 popular scripture ready read and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not my Bible says overcame it not and the light this is the second basis listen listen please look up the second basis the platform upon which we can dare say it's a year of triumph is that we have been given an understanding from the word of god that darkness only remains darkness for as long as there is no light are we together now when you off this light this entire auditorium becomes dark but the moment the light comes on the darkness leaves so the departure of darkness 
is at the appearance of genuine light genuine light are we together now the second basis of our confidence is that all the works of Satan are considered darkness and God and all he communicates is called light and the Bible says the light shines the light shines the light shines so that God through his light is empowering us this year so that we can be able to walk through darkness so for you it does not matter whether it will light or dark because you are light yourself and you are carrying light so in case it were darkness as soon as you step in the rules change for you they have to change for you if i enter a dark room and i do not have light anything can happen i can match on a bottle i can injure myself confusion is that true but now somebody else who entered that dark room with his own light the room did not give him light but he forced the room to be illuminated through his light and he can organize himself are we together now so the bible says the light shines in darkness listen it is costly to live in today's world in ignorance costly to live in today's world in ignorance any kind of ignorance will not work well for us this year so the light shines in darkness that is the basis of our victory what should i expect this year this year of triumph what should i expect this year number one Every, I'm being careful to say it, everyone who does not trust in the name of the Lord or everyone who does not live by the principles of the kingdom, this will be a terrible year for them. This is the truth. I'm trying to be as nice as I can sound, but this is, this is the mildest way of communicating it. Anyone who is not born of God, comma, and anyone who, though born of God, is not equipped with light, will not have a very funny year. That's the truth. Brothers and sisters, I will not lie to you. If you are waiting for government, now I love the government, we are responsible people as a ministry, the government of nations and policies to change so that you will smile it means you will cry from january to december are we together now we are tapping into the realities of another system to thrive and live are you hearing what i'm saying now i like the way living faith puts it they say my case is different very powerful statement not our case my case the rules are different for me are we together we were we were coming in from Uyo yesterday we had a beautiful time by the way i'm sure there are people following us Uyo is a lovely place you want to see how heaven looks like you can go to Uyo. yeah it truly is a beautiful place hallelujah we were rushing to come and catch the flight and everything was over they were about to lift that i mean we were going to miss the flight but because the person who invited us had influence with the airport authorities they caused the entire plane to be grounded until we came you see that i'm just giving you an example of how a man's case can be different the rules you read the rules and regulation you read on your manual is for the general public the same way listen on saturday there is no banking on sunday there is no banking but the doors of banks open every day it depends on who is talking there are men who if they want to withdraw now they open the bank and the manager comes he said i hope i'm not inconveniencing him inconveniencing me everyone shout my case is different shout it again my case is different
listen this is the year every time you hear them say it can be done just know they are speaking to the general public the bible says you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood you, you have to believe this don't just laugh listen it's a mentality i have worked with for years i never generalize my life there is nothing general about me it's, it's not some boastful statement it's the truth i expect things to be different when i come it's my approach so i'm very interested in what people say cannot be done because i like to see how that thing will treat me oh hallelujah i pray that you have a victor's mindset this year all this generalizing ourselves oh that's how it happens no there are always exemptions there there have there is no rule that has been applicable to everybody there are always exemptions are we together men engage secrets from genesis to revelation and change keys change rules kings who vowed that they could not see people saw certain women they did things listen 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 brothers and sisters everybody's explanation is his experience so people write books based on their experience they teach based on their experience they say in 40 years it has never happened that a young man within this and that age range becomes successful based on this gdp and a and b and c if you get a job today receiving forty thousand, by our estimate in 10 years you will now be able to build a house when you hear those talk honor them but turn and say no way ah no 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 it's not me hallelujah yeah. believe me i live my life as if there is no such thing as recession i believe it by my solidarity to a nation at a corporate level but i absolutely do not be it is not it doesn't make sense koinonia is rising this year as if as if it's charm i all gave you to put in your pocket that's how we rise no 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 that's what i saw god has made me a pastor over the ministry so i know what i saw i will sympathize with any other person who has seen differently but the bible says joshua and caleb were of another spirit 12 spies 12 spies went to spy a land perspective 10 of them saw the giants six fingers six toes they will shake themselves as if they are going to squeeze one another and the, the ten were seeing themselves in, in the midst of those hands being squeezed whereas joshua and caleb said my god look at abundance in this land they ran back and said the ten said we were like grasshoppers joshua and caleb said don't say we say i saw them he said let us go up at once for we are well able when Joshua was distributing and allocating land in the book of Joshua, Caleb came to him and said, when I was 40 years, Moses said, because of my courage, you will give me this land. Now give me this mountain. Although I am 40, about 45 years older, my strength is still there. I can take on those giants. Come on now. Everybody was looking at the end of the reign of Israel another man was looking at an opportunity for a tax-free life and a free wife are we together david came and said look i can't go through all this hustle what to be done for the person who kills goliath they say his family will be exempted from tax he will marry the king's daughter that's why when he was dancing before god and his wife turned he said i'm dancing before god who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me hallelujah thanks be to god who causes us always to triumph causes us always to triumph what do we expect this year a year of great victory and supernatural achievement write it down a year of great victory 
great victory and supernatural achievement don't go around insulting people but don't listen to all this nonsense you hear around believe me when i tell you this it's a year of great victory and supernatural achievement what do we expect this year uncommon results uncommon results in every area spiritually financially career-wise uncommon results what do we expect this year total dominion and mastery over the forces of darkness and the issues of life what do we expect this year i repeat total dominion and mastery over the forces of darkness and the issues of life there are real issues in life there are real forces but that will sustain an ability to command total dominion and mastery I wrote something down here that I want to read this was even during my retreat I said our goal as a ministry don't write just listen our goal as a ministry for 2017 is to lead God's people and as many others into greater levels of intimacy with God comma revival transformation signs and wonders prosperity kingdom influence and total dominion God's people will experience the dominion power of light over darkness that's what I wrote there the dominion power you see how cheap darkness is when you hold light when you do not hold light you don't make boast when you are driving and your headlamp offs you drive like a learner or park the car but as soon as you can see a mechanic who will buy a hundred or 250 naira bulb and just put it just because a car that you bought four million or five million now has a headlamp of less than two thousand spoiled and that entire car becomes inefficient you bought a car over five million and the head the the, the bulb right that gives light that is less than 10,000 naira because that that headlight spoils you can't drive again you park your beautiful car and you can do nothing about it but just a young mechanic who comes buys that bulb from a shop your car can buy the shop but you carry the light and just fix it back and you can speed in the night as if it's the afternoon someone will run this year listen i got a powerful revelation about speed during my retreat and the lord told me if you see somebody driving on a speed lane slow he's either a learner or the car is not working well is that true so the concept of delay or slow movement is totally a function of darkness let me tell you something every driver knows when the road is clear there is no car and there is light what do you do there's no time for moving around and nonsense are wasting time you you hurry up that's how many of us the road will be clear light will clear off every devil standing that way hallelujah some of us it's not even you will even need to change the vehicle completely because what you have been moving with you you can't sit inside a wheelbarrow and you want to arrive lagos that's what the economy of the world is trying to give you their theories will make you successful when you are 70 years old listen you cannot live in today's world with the suggestions men are giving and ever rise let me speak just economically speaking do you know in nigeria every family has at least two or three people now who are jobless they have been retrenched they've been downsized and they are waiting out of eight people one person got a job of forty thousand, and everybody saying praise the lord what does that mean to that salary as soon as you tight it finishes immediately so how do you build a house how do you buy a car how do you get married how do you sow into the work of god you see what satan wants to rob you 
so that you are 50 years and you are still staying in your parents house you are coming to koinonia but you are coming from their house at 50 and they look at you and say what is this but my case is different it truly is different hallelujah how will this be achieved we are going to pray seeing then that God has released the word his word is his bond his word is his commitment throughout this year I wrote something down you may just want to listen the primary tool that will be used to achieve this is the word of God but more specifically a thorough revelation of the secrets and the mysteries of the kingdom that are responsible for the desired results the primary tool that will be used to achieve this is the word of God comma but more specifically a thorough revelation of the secrets and mysteries of the kingdom that are responsible for the desired results so there is your desire versus the mystery that is responsible for actualizing it are we together please come help me with this bottle everyone please look at this my desire is to drink water i give one of these little ones this bottle they may be thirsty but they do not know how to open it this is the year you must match your desire with the corresponding mystery that was designed to open it up to you we have desires we know what we want but what it takes to deliver the result is where the problem is so the primary tool this year I tell you this year will be an unveiling of divine strategies the mysteries that are responsible for commanding results now I want to open this and I do not know and then somebody gives me an orientation you hold this and turn it anti-clockwise do you know I can hold this and turn it clockwise and it's not opening because that's not the law does the water hate me please answer me does the bottle know me it's a system whoever can turn it will drink the water so I use my frustration to say anytime you see this bottle run away it can be opened that's what they are preaching to you all around because people tried it and it did not work and then God tells you no take that same bottle and he tells you turn it and you turn it very easily very easily and it's open you are ready to take the water thanks be to God who through his mystery causes us always to triumph so everywhere they say it can be done God sends you there so the next time thank you the next time you see yourself standing in the midst of fire don't cry don't say it can't be done ask how can it be done how 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 not it can't be done how can it be done are we together God speaks to you and says by December you own your own house and you sit down and calculate and say God I'm earning 50,000 how much is is that spent you see if you think like that not even this year your lifetime you will not build are we together you have to stretch your faith and believe God the Word of God now let me tell you something what is God's part in this prophecy write it down this is the apex of this exhortation what is God's commitment Isaiah chapter 55 what is God's commitment in this prophecy if I'm doing business with you I have to know what my commitment is and what your commitment is right so this is what God says in Isaiah 55 verse 11 listen so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it says it shall not return to me void 
but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing I sent it so God is telling you his own part that as far as I am concerned my integrity over this prophetic word that is your year of triumph is guaranteed my word will not return back I will not bring you at the beginning of the year and mock you God is too big to mock you he's too big to play with you play games with your mind no so shall my word be one more scripture because from the mouth of two or three witnesses a matter is established are we together Jeremiah 1 verse 12 Jeremiah 1 verse 12 amplified says for I am alert and active watching over my word to perform it so who is the performer who is the performer write it down that's his part the part of God is the performer the one who forces that word to come to pass he said it he said it to us as a family of faith that it is our year of triumph and so we have believed him his own part is to perform it make good his bond are we together now so what is your own part because usually this is where the equation fails i want you to pay attention take what i'm about to tell you as prophetic instructions eight instructions god gave me during our retreat eight instructions and he said if you keep this and tell my people to keep this it will truly be a year of triumph so please take very seriously these eight instructions bishop oyedeko said um those who drive are taught by all kinds of people you call them coaches and drivers and, and all of that but those who fly planes those who train those who fly planes they call them instructors you fly a plane based on instructions there's no emotions to it it's exact you can time the landing of a plane with the fraction of a second are we together now i can't guarantee that if i ask you to drive from here to your house you may arrive in 10 minutes but when you are in the air i can time that you are landing 707 and 707 on the dot the tire is touching the ground because of instructions instructions give you accuracy 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 instructions do, doesn't leave discretion do this and this will happen don't do this and you will not suit this instruction number one what is my part what is my part in partnership with God to make this year a year of triumph second Chronicles 2020 that's instruction number one believe in the Lord and believe in his prophets write it down that's the first instruction believe in the Lord and believe in his prophets those who disregard prophetic instructions will hear it bad this year arrogant people who think when the word of God comes from a man of God it's a word they join all these these junk journalists that write nonsense about every man of God to mean when a man of God speaks he's just ranting no God has always used the instrumentality of vessels to speak his purposes to people believe in the Lord your God what does it do to you establishment believe in his prophets what does it do to you prosperity so the first instruction from God if we are to experience a year of triumph is that we must believe in the Lord by the way you are, if you are not born again here by the time I make the altar call please I want you to run because that's where it starts from believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established then he said believe his prophets to believe his prophets doesn't mean to agree with them take them as true take what they are speaking as the word from God for as long as that word bears witness with your spirit the Holy Ghost confirming it then you take it and act upon it accordingly 
you're going to be receiving instructions here you're going to be receiving principles here be childlike be childlike and receive it and you will be surprised the kingdom is for children he said let the little children come to me right and do not forbid them for for such is the kingdom of heaven except you become like one of these little ones the bible says you cannot enter you can't experience the kingdom unnecessary big manism and pride is what will cause people to weep and languish believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established believe in his prophets so shall he prosper so this is not the year to come for koinonia now that does not mean you should throw your brains away please let's balance it are you getting what i'm saying believing a man of god does not mean the person says remove one shoe put it on your head and walk around ah, remember the holy ghost is in you are we together now the holy ghost is in you bearing witness with everything that is being spoken so i say to believe a man of god with respect to his walking with god paul said follow me as i follow after christ meaning if i am not following christ don't follow me are you getting the idea now because many people have been indoctrinated wrongly with this issue of believing prophets they believe what you believe what they taught you about money and you are broke because what they said was a lie so don't just believe nonsense and say this is what i've said uh, believe provided the man has a track record of working with god that's what qualifies him to be able to speak with you so that somebody does not carry i'm saying it for the sake of the thousands online so that one pastor does not carry this and go and harass his members and say even apostle joshua selman said this now all of you go and bring 10 10 000 naira and give me the bible says believe me that's not what i'm saying that's manipulation and witchcraft hallelujah you follow a man of god as he follows after christ so you don't just follow him blindly you check in front of him to see who he's following if he's following another strange spirit you turn around are we together instruction number two this 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 is the, my notebook for the retreat I, I came with it directly so that i'll read it because it came with fire from the throne and it's good to read it as it came number two the second instruction the second key your own role is that you must cultivate a passion a passion to thoroughly understand the principles of the kingdom you must cultivate a passion for understanding an appetite for understanding fight your areas of ignorance like a cancer this year no assumptions no assumptions every gray area in your life deal with it ruthlessly i'm not getting this thing for five years i've been acting like i know it i sit down at the feet of the master and i learn how this thing works cultivate a passion for understanding the bible says they are life to those who find them to find them means you have to search for them and the bible tells us how proverbs 18 verse 1 it says through desire a man having separated himself that talks of focus 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 one leg here trying to read one book you read one page and then you come back after five months the year will end like it did last year and every other year you must give it your attention do you know the reason why many people never learn we are too distracted now please don't misunderstand me but i have to say this you have to be careful with the internet this year say amen. amen number two you have to be careful with your phone this year your phone may be the enemy that will stop you from triumphing you have to be careful some of these things that distract us be careful with unnecessary hilarious movies you are watching nigerian film you have 10 cds say i must finish it you set a goal to finish those films and then you are not doing anything with your life you must passionately pursue understanding it takes time it takes time you will need to study you will need to buy books you will need to listen to teachings again and again don't just say i listen to it again mm -mm. 
again and again there are some of my own teachings i've listened to one tape over 500 times believe me when i tell you this one just one koinonia teaching over 500 times god is my witness i'm not exaggerating there are other messages i've listened to one tape i will tell you almost more than a thousand times i'm not exaggerating you have to be passionate except you want to behave like a herbalist this year but if you want a predictable result be ready to spend time notice i didn't say in knowledge most of us are already aware you need understanding to know how to engage that principle is god helping us instruction number three let's hurry up what is your part number three you must be willing to be obedient and consistent write it down the third key god gave me for myself and for us two scriptures please deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 and then james 1 25 deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 and then james 1 25 the willingness to obey and to obey consistently you don't tithe in january and then the next time you come in october you don't get results that way you don't pray today and then sometime in may you just say let me go for prayer band meeting that's when you remember that you have not been praying you, there must be consistency deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt do what hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord to observe and to do all his commandments which i commanded this day listen when you observe and do them then the following will happen that the lord thy god will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings so they are there but they will not come to you automatically shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord everybody say obedience say consistency yeah you don't do devotion today and then after two weeks you now kneel down and repent and just read two chapters and kneel down and repent again march you 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 change all these games this is the year you have to be serious please prophesy to yourself say i'll be serious even with the house of god there are people who are not serious you come for koinonia now and then you sit down later you say you are busy what are you busy doing you are busy suffering because nothing is working i must be consistent do you know no matter how little your efforts are if you are consistent you will get more results than somebody who comes up with an have you seen people who come up with elephant projects they just come out of one three-day fasting and say today i will read five books per week ten chapters per day i will pray three hours and while they are saying it someone is watching in two weeks you will say bros sorry oh i i remember you making that statement don't come up with elephant projects elephant projects is why people are not consistent like now most of you had retreat from december to now the fire is still hot so you are making statements that don't make sense god is saying calm down i said god just allow me or leave me run the way i want to run and you won't even reach february this year i must pay the school fees of 10 students god is saying be careful just start with god leave me it's my heart now the third person is already asking you and you are saying please don't talk to me listen i want to show you why people are not consistent they are not consistent because they are, they are not they don't set goals that are reasonable i'm going to be saving hundred hundred thousand per month mm -mm. apostle has said we should save how much is your salary your salary is thirty thousand how are you going to save hundred thousand are you a thief you see it's not realistic i'm not saying don't plan but you, you have to take sensible steps it's like a Jimmy's child saying i must drive now that's an ambitious goal but it's not realistic 
so please go back and edit your plans to be reasonable and invite the holy spirit to help you this year i must be a millionaire in dollars respect money and plan well don't be a fool and do stupid things you know I, I'm, I'm saying this as a warning i'm speaking to so many people you have to be wise i'm showing you why number one we are not obedient because you'll be frustrated you will even tight again take your growth in sensible logical steps lord i will be i can dedicate one hour praying and i'll give my heart to it the day god grants me grace i will use that whole day to stretch don't say me and eight hours lord if i don't pray eight hours kill me that's what you said during your retreat you would have been dead from second of january because the only time you prayed eight hours was your retreat you have not even prayed one hour since that time don't make foolish statements emotionally are you getting my point now be careful lord if i miss coin only a one day this year break my leg Dude, we say all kinds of things that don't make sense of course god is merciful so he just looks at us like a child talking to the father but you have to be wise that's why people cannot obey they yoke themselves with instructions that are too hard to obey at the moment i must give apostle a seed every every friday a jimmy a seed every friday my hatred a seed every friday lord that's my covenant with you be careful god didn't ask you You're, you are you will get there one day but your salary is five thousand how do you do that Praise the Lord. Are we together? So obedience and consistency. James chapter 1 verse 25. Please quickly. James 1 25. Let's hurry up. James 1 25. Look up please while I read. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. The Bible says. And continueth. Continueth. Not just that he looked at it once. He continueth therein. He be not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the word what is his reward this man shall be blessed in his deed consistency will produce results consistency will produce results don't commit yourself to anything you know you cannot continue ask questions ask the holy spirit to help you number instruction number four you must maintain a robust prayer life write it down a robust prayer life a healthy fiery prayer life the bible says and the fire upon the altar it shall burn day and night listen this is a year when there are forces of darkness the arsenals of hell are out to eat and spew out anybody it can find. There's no room for carelessness. Are we together now? Why do we need to pray? To maintain our relationship and our contact with God. Why do we need to pray? To maintain our discernment. Why do we need to pray? To command things to be. Why do we need to pray? To challenge the forces that be to give way. To give way you must pray there are there are wicked spirits you can only imagine how many devils of darkness plan to destabilize koinonia destabilize our lives to make sure that people don't come to misrepresent us you've got to pray listen let me tell you something if you're a pastor here let me teach you a very big secret I thank God for Koinonia. Koinonia has a robust prayer department. Many of you are part of it. And I thank God for the leaders, great guys, and so many people. This is a ministry of prayer. There are prayer giants here. But nobody's prayer for me can substitute for my personal prayer life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many lazy pastors. I'm challenging us. There are many lazy church members. I know they will pray for me. Where are you going? Koinonia prayer band. Oh, please pray for us. So, you see, that attitude this year will not go well. Because there are instructions you must hear by yourself. Nobody can hear it for you. 
there are many lazy men of God who don't pray they say we have prayer warriors praying for me all around some of you even sow seeds to the men praying and say please this is just a small seed to buy orange juice while you pray it will not substitute your spiritual laziness history is full of men who did not pray and the fatal disaster that happened to them let me tell you anything that affects your prayer life has truly destroyed you not will destroy you if at this point you are listening to me your prayer altar is dead you don't need a word of knowledge you are under attack just know it not from God from hell you I don't care what the excuse is you don't you don't forget to eat you don't forget to bath you don't forget to dress you don't for there's nobody working for the government who says I forgot that I'm supposed to go to work today because every time you are tired you remember salary are we together now this prayerlessness and spiritual laziness and say I'm not you see, I'm not into all this I'm not the ministry type me I'm, I'm not the ministry type you must be the ministry type this year because victory is for ministry people if you are not in ministry this year forget about victory please take what I'm saying seriously say I receive grace say it inside and outside I receive grace to be on fire in the place of prayer you have to create times listen I know we are all busy don't get me wrong I'm a very busy person most there are many people here who are working some are students there are people all around if you are waiting until it's comfortable you will never be consistent you have to you understand your life come up with a program I'm a night person I'm like a dog in the night because my daytime is busy people will not even allow me to concentrate I can't tell you I'll pray effectively in the day so the night time when unbelief has reduced in the earth people are sleeping all the people who cause unbelief to fly like magnetic waves are sleeping that's when we settle things we 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 make things be that's my that's good for me there are others the nature of your job if you pray like that you will be sick so you won't say apostle is doing it and you do it like that there are others what you just need is to just make sufficient contact for the day and then one day that you have a leave maybe in a week you can use that day and just settle and catch up for the week are we together if you don't create a system you will not pray most of us here you can spare some time in the night except you are lazy you were praying in the night when you entered relationship that prayer time now became loan time be careful God is watching you have to you have to balance that thing and tell the brother and say brother I love you but you see from this to this is a time for prayer we can readjust it but you can't just say ah, ah, yeah, well, even God knows that we're in love be careful demons don't know you are in love and that's where the issue is because these are the little things please don't just laugh listen carefully most of us our night times are for recreation which is okay those of us in relationships you are catching up time you know discussing which is wonderful I encourage it but but I encourage it only if your prayer life will not suffer if you are in love at the expense of your prayer life you are dying say amen, amen. number number five what is the third instruction from God to us? Totally, the fifth instruction, I'm sorry. Totally reject fear and negative reports. Let me dwell for a few minutes here. This one came strong in my spirit. The fifth instruction to see the outstretched arm of God this year. You must totally reject fear slash negative reports. Media three scriptures please give it to us quickly Isaiah 8 verse 12 of course you know already that fear is a spirit don't turn there just write it 2nd Timothy 1 verse 7 says for God has not given us the spirit of fear 2nd Timothy 1 verse 7 for God has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of love power and what fear is a spirit you must challenge it do you know I'm not against 
watching CNN, BBC, and all these stations and reading the newspapers and all of that. But you have to be careful. Are we together now? Any report that violates your convictions, you can read it just for entertainment, but do not absorb it and add it to your convictions and start acting. Statistics have been released already that predict a lot of things. The economic health of nations predicts that this and that is happening. There's, there are already predictions that there's going to be almost a 10% job, uh, what they call it, downsizing. Thank you. By the time you hear that one now, you are, you are afraid because they just employed you. He says, say ye not a confederacy to all of them whom these people shall say a confederacy. Neither fear their fear. That means don't say what they are saying. They are saying recession. Don't join them to say recession. Don't fight them. Oh. Let me give you a balance. Don't go to the office and when they say there's recession, you stand up and say, look, in this board meeting, there is no recession. They will fire you. That's not what I mean. What I'm saying, you don't accept that as a no it's not a prophetic word for you say i reject it there's no recession in my life say it again i reject it there's no recession in my life are we together the bible says neither fear their fears listen there are only about four or five fears that plague people number one the greatest is the fear of death number two is the fear of failure are we together now the fear of death the fear of failure really what else number three the fear of disappointment disappointment purposes disappointed and all kinds of things these are some of the fears that we have around our fears are finite you can look at them and know that I can conquer them the fear of death how am I sure now that you you watch on B, on BBC and, and CNN people are in a bus a luxurious bus traveling someone sits down there you hear about the foolish boy that testimony that somebody gave where someone wanted to snuff uh, a gun grenade look this year you must behave well praise god the things i used to snuff yourself automatically you know that brother needs deliverance i hope you know nobody will go and bust grenade and then lose your hand is that a mistake that was calculated by hell a day before they concluded tomorrow by this time this guy has lost i'm sure it's even intercession that didn't blow the guy up maybe somebody prayed for him some problems are self-inflicted you smoke snuff and you are not in your mind and they arrest you they jail you no year of trial are we together now no year of triumph it's not caused by demons we have our wheels are you hearing what i'm saying or they are snuffing and you are there you did snuff but you are still going to prison some of us are so careless. You know that there are thieves around you. Your best friend is a thief. Your, your other friend is a smoker. The other person is, is, goes to a herbalist. The other person is, is a lazy man. Look at, and you are, the, you are serious. You can't have a year of triumph. Brothers and sisters, let's not play games. You have to be serious. Edit your association. There are people you have to wave goodbye this year. They say, why? Say, because it's my year of triumph. totally reject fear hebrews chapter 2 verse 5 verse 15 just write it these are scriptures since it's not projected hebrews 2 verse 15 and deliver them who through fear have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there is a correlation between fear and bondage every time you are afraid you are kept in bondage if you are afraid of death you will not travel to go and see your loved ones you are thinking what if i die have you not heard of people who were about to eat dinner in their house 
as they were just they just finished serving the meal a tractor a, a, a trailer just entered and killed all of them your confidence is not in refusing to get on the road your confidence is in the name of the Lord I shall not die but live and declare the Bible says right I said before you life and death blessing and cursing choose life I've chosen life that's why I don't smoke it's not just I chose life I cho I've chosen life that's why I don't drink hello I must say it you drink you have chosen death you smoke it's not and I don't care what it is e-cigarette um, 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 real one you are dying and another angle let me come in with another dimension gluttony is also on your way to death let me balance it are we together excessive food does something to your spirit man I'm not saying starve yourself don't get me wrong excessive food there is no champion I know who is a master at eating go and search history no champion I know you are temperate in all things balance yourself don't eat things that 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 cause trouble in your body many people have eaten their ways to their, their, to their grave they call it prosperity you buy two uh, 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 what they call it two whole chickens only you add malt add viju add yogurt are cheap and you eat it and say look when i was poor i suffered now that i'm rich you are not enjoying choose life prophesy to yourself say i choose life i'm not saying no eat they serve you a chicken eat well but be temperate be temperate and do you know a jimmy the Lord shared with me a revelation during my retreat. Do you know why many people get sick from food? Because we are disobeying what the Bible says. He who does not walk is an advice. It's an advice. It's not a warning. I'm advising you. If you don't plan to walk, don't eat. Because eating without walking will do something to your health. Oh, come on. It's not we just think God is warning us it's an advice believe me brothers and sisters find out from people who don't walk and eat they don't stay healthy I'm not a doctor but ask the doctors among us here you are just eating because that life works based on the principle of give and take you are not giving anything and you are receiving if you don't walk don't eat the same way they say if you drink don't drive if you don't walk don't eat try this and see how healthy you will be most people eat but don't walk mentally they are not working spiritually they are not working physically they are not working you eat by 10 you wake up by 12 you know what you are doing you are dying great leaders are healthy people very healthy people because leadership makes you very diligent great leaders are healthy people alive and agile you see someone in his 30s mid 40s or 50s and you see him breaking down he wants to call you he's raising his hand as if he's sick food brought that kind of thing you have been eating and you have not been working do you know i, I studied this thing i'm telling you i took out time to study it a professional doctor a dietitian was talking about all of these things people walk and don't eat I mean they they, 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 they walk they eat and they don't walk say I walk and that revelation came from the fact that Jesus has done everything so we should not do everything that is true but you must understand in what context it doesn't mean you lazy around and move around no sir no sir no sir Jesus did not die to produce lazy people. Jesus himself said, I must walk the works of him that sent me. You will never become great in life being lazy. I'm talking about fear. But I'm saying these are some of the things that sabotage our lives and keep us in fear. You are now afraid of your health. 
oh what if they say i am this do you know if you just obey the bible you don't need to fear death do you know why god created fasting even medically speaking medically speaking people who fast periodically are healthy your body needs to take a break from all these things you are just junking in yeah. you buy a crate of minerals and finish it in three days no you fast if you have no spiritual reason to fast i tell you i don't mean fast like don't eat you can just take a day and say i'm just on food just to just to make my body feel healthy we have been trained to feel when you eat so much you are rich no 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 one will die here this year in the name of jesus christ and none of you will kill yourselves this year in the name of jesus christ let's hurry up we're almost there instruction number six the sixth instruction to experience a year of triumph is be patient but persistent write it down the year of triumph is for those who will be patient impatient people will hear it this year you must be patient hebrews 6 15 galatians 6 9 please quickly be patient it says everyone read want to read and so talking of abraham after he had patiently endured did what after he had patiently endured i know god has spoken that it's a year of triumph but you don't wait and between this week and next week you just say i don't have a testimony that's it mm -mm, be patient over your finances be patient give god time to work things out for you give favor time to come to fruition in your life impatience will destroy many people so after he had patiently endured he obtained the promise galatians 6 verse 9 he says and let us not be weary don't gas out let us not be weary in well-doing why for in due season we shall reap what's the condition if we faint not so you must be persistent ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking knock and keep knocking and the door will open up to you i pray for you for grace to continue some of these things i'm sharing may not make sense now but brothers and sisters by the time you are in march and nothing has happened in your finances and you return back home and you find out there may not be food to eat then you go back to these things and you will see that i told you patience and persistence it doesn't mean the word of god is not working are we together by the time all of a sudden you find out that ah, uh -uh you're beginning to have abdominal pain and they now give you a report you don't like i say ah, ah, but i thought god said it's my year of trial patience by the time you come for january miracle service and then nothing happens right away patience most people don't give god a chance to manifest himself in their lives we give up on god too easily the moment you say oh god this is what i'm trusting especially when you have dreams and you have experiences that show you that god is going to help you and then physically you are not seeing it that way god told you that you will get a job by december that's what you saw that's what you had and now it's january okay lord i give you the glory i thought it was december i don't know whether i got it right or whatever that's not important i just know you will give me a job you have spoken i hold on to your word very simple instead of saying god is it that I'm, I'm hearing voices or you are the ones all those things are signs of unbelief lord i believe you but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able everybody say i still believe god prophesy to yourself i still believe god yeah the circumstances around you may not look like it but i still believe god two more and then we are done the seven key you must have 
clear goals and expectations write it down the seventh key to experience a year of triumph you must have clear goals and expectations psalm 37 verse 4 and then proverbs 23 18 psalms 37 verse 4 you must have clear goals and expectations i'm taking out time to be this simple tonight because i want everyone to receive it so that we can pray this word i really desire from my heart and god knows i prayed for you during my retreat and i told god i said god please let your people get strange testimonies let this word work in their lives and god told me well the ball is in everyone's court god is more than faithful but if we engage with him then you can be sure that the sky is only a starting point it says delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give you what so when you do not have desires expressed as goals god is not authorized to bless you set clear goals are we together now financial goals reasonable financial goals set clear goals career goals okay i'm trusting god to get a job this year i'm trusting god to start a business this year my laundry should start this is the budget i need two hundred thousand. lord i lift it before you you are more than able to make this happen i set a clear goal i should have by god's grace i plan to have a cash flow of two hundred thousand per month this year hundred thousand per month this year that will cover the school fees of my children cover my rent for a year i set goals i set clear goals that by the grace of god every day i should be able to read a particular you know chapters of scripture i set clear goals when you don't set goals you will never achieve anything proverbs 23 verse 18 proverbs 23 verse 18 it says for surely there is an end and thine expectation shall not be cut off i have an expectation for the ministry i have an expectation for my life are we together you're a businessman have expectations you're a career person have expectation oh i'm due for promotion and i believe with all my heart that this year i will be promoted to become an operations manager lord i involve you in this thank you my goal is that by the end of this year i should have finished my msc i should have finished my phd my goal this year is at least i should be able to write three or four papers of international repute this year my goal this year is that i'll be a serious student i'm on three point maybe three point three five and my goal this year is to make five points first and second semester and to rise to a two one and then see how I can take it from there. Sensible goals. My goal, maritally speaking, is to get married or to be a good wife. My goal is to give birth. Don't just give birth. Set it as a goal. So that you can gather the resources to manage. The Bible says no man intending to build a house. You want to marry by June and you are wasting money in January. You will not marry. You set it as a goal goals give us focus are you getting what i'm saying now that way you don't waste resources there are many wasters in the body of christ wasting everything that god gives them you waste your brain you waste your resources no set goals my goal this year is to access the healing anointing god has called me into the healing ministry but i have not seen that level of healing that may be your goal and my goal this year is i want to focus on the healing ministry and trust god to access that grace so that i can become a blessing my goal this year is to sharpen the prophetic dimension god gave me i'm tired of talking to people and one out of every 20 is what comes to pass i need to sharpen my accuracy goals my goal this year i'm tired of being broke at least even if i don't become a millionaire this year let me understand the laws of wealth and abundance my goal this year in preparation for marriage is to study on motherhood study on wifehood i want to be an award-winning woman my goal this year is not to be a foolish man 
I've been a foolish man for many years, but now I want to calm down and understand what it means to be responsible. My goal this year is to move out of my parents' house and get a house of my own. I want to start with a self-contained. I want to be responsible this year. That's a goal. Are we together? My goal this year is to stop gossiping and making trouble and design a good life for myself. I'm tired of talking about people, going to people's homes to disturb them and be a nuisance to them. I'm ready to be serious. My goal this year is to be a greater person of integrity and character. I found out that I love God, but maybe I'm not quite a person of integrity and character. I want to work on it. Do you have goals? You must set them. Are we together? I challenge you to set goals. Please set goals. They will guide you in what to do. And they will help you know the things you should not be involved in. Oh, my goal is to start ministry this year. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. This is how God is helping me. My goal is to expand this year. My goal is to write a book this year. My goal is to do this and that. My goal is to be a more effective worker in Koinonia. I'm tired of absenteeism. I'm tired of carelessness. I want to give God my best today. When you set goals, you authorize God. I have goals. My life is littered with goals. At every given point in my life, there's no carelessness. I know what to do after this night. I know what to do tomorrow. My week is already prepared. My month is already prepared. The year is already prepared. I'm not sitting down wishing. Of course, you will adjust the goals eventually. But you have, you must have a skeletal description. So nobody just comes and says, wow, I want to come and waste your time. Have goals. And finally, the last point, Psalm 23 verse 5, you must walk conscious of the anointing oh yes oh yes triumph you can't rule out the anointing psalm 23 verse 5 walk conscious of the anointing it's projected thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies it says thou anointest my head with oil and my cup overflows there is a relationship between the oil on your head and the cup on your hands there is a relationship between the results you get on your life and the unction and the grace that is upon you hallelujah this is not the year to ignore the anointing i know that as a ministry we honor the place of the anointing and the ministry of the holy spirit but in a greater way listen there are some of us who we think the anointing is just for falling down and coughing out things no sir the anointing is god's ability is his help in your life are we together now if you are trying to climb a staircase and then it's not working and i hold your hands i have assisted you the anointing is god's assistance in your life to multiply your results and in many cases to even produce it in the first way the anointing multiplies your result by a factor that you cannot even consider i expect the anointing to walk over my life this year i expect the anointing to walk in the ministry in every area expect the anointing to walk in your business expect the anointing to walk in your family don't sit down and expect life to be casual don't draw your graph arithmetically draw it spiritually hmm. in the realm of the spirit two plus two is not four it depends on what god adds to the equation two plus two can be one thousand god can complete the rest that's what his grace is all about so don't walk as if you are alone listen he said for with god with god with god without god many things are impossible but with god I told God during my retreat, I said, Lord, I want to walk with you like never before. I believe that if I walk with you, my life will be episodes of signs and wonders. Brothers and sisters, what you see us enjoy as a ministry, among many things, is the lavish benefit of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When the anointing is upon your life, it's upon your life. 
you will command unending results unending results the things God has done in my life already from January till now are almost enough if he never does anything throughout this year again I'm grateful expect favor to walk there is an anointing expect favor to walk brothers and sisters expect the healing anointing to walk in your life expect the mantle of honor to walk in your life are you hearing what I'm saying now believe in the anointing many people ignore the anointing because we think it's not necessary don't get into that kind of business I believe in the anointing Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how God anointed Jesus even Jesus had to be anointed to be effective how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth the crowds that come to this ministry the thousands that follow from all the nations of the world is the anointing how much publicity can you do is the anointing are we together the results and the testimonies the miracles the signs the wonders the influence the prosperity everything is the anointing you must make up your mind to embrace the anointing for every season there is a grace that goes with it you not only receive the prophetic word you receive the grace that makes it happen if I send you I have told you the message but I must give you the money you can have the message and not have the money you will still not do anything if I send you and I say go and buy me biscuit after I've told you what I want and you are ready to go but then I I know how much biscuit is cost then I'll give it to you and sometimes I will give you more in case the price has increased hallelujah I don't know about you but brothers and sisters this is my year of triumph I believe it with all my heart God is not a joker I am not too proud to accept the word of God for my life triumph in every area I'm walking in extraordinary miracles I'm walking in extraordinary dimensions of wisdom extraordinary dimensions of grace I'm already prophesying to myself you can speak your own I'm walking in supernatural dimensions of health no sickness whatsoever I have no covenant with death no covenant with sickness it's a year my graph of progress is a straight line this year in the name of Jesus regardless of the challenges that come the wisdom to surmount them is already at work in my life I decree and declare that favor surrounds me like a shield extraordinary results by the Spirit the wisdom of God defying the strategies of men that's what I call the year that's what I call 2017 I call it a year of extreme favor from January to December favor follows me like a shield the Lord is a shield for me I'm prophesying over my year that's what I believe Lord you have declared that it's my year of triumph and I receive it I take you seriously my year of extraordinary breakthrough men are rising from everywhere to bless me this ministry is growing to new dimensions flourishing men of prayer men of fire men of revelation men of influence men of character men of godliness as a ministry there's massive salvation of souls this year extraordinary miracles by the hand of God diligent workers men and women who love the purposes of the kingdom and whatsoever Adam called it that was his name thereof no sorrow this year I exempt it from my life no sorrow this year I exempt it from my life no sorrow this year I exempt it the anointing goes before me the anointing goes into every month making every crooked path straight can you rise up and turn all this into a prayer name your 2017 name it come on everything that represents triumph for you I can't be falling sick this year no I reject sickness I reject living from hand to mouth by the wisdom and the favor of God I'm an extraordinary man of God. Are you praying? I access deep dimensions of revelations, deep dimensions of the anointing. 
the miracle working power of God is lavishly at work in my life a greater dimension of his presence upon my life greater signs greater wonders greater testimonies I pray like never before I fast like never before I study the world like never before I rise to new levels of influence my light is shining Gentiles go to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising favor all the way favor all the way favor all the way by the power of the Holy Ghost I'm a well watered garden in the name of Jesus I refuse to fear their fear recession is far from my life recession is far from this ministry in the name of Jesus no death no death no death the earth is obedient to my voice no death I rise above every enchantment I rise above every witchcraft. I rise above every necromancy. The activity of the dark world. Immune to their causes. Immune to their spells. Prophesy. My year of triumph. Celebration all the way. This is a year that I serve God like never before. This is a year that I give to the kingdom like never before. I'm a kingdom financier. In the name of Jesus, the floodgates of heaven are open over me. This is a year of strange visions. Strange visions. Strange encounters with the Holy Ghost. Are you praying koinonia? You are declaring over your year. Every department in this ministry is functioning at optimal level. In the name of Jesus, we record groundbreaking testimonies of the hand of God. Koinonia is contributing in a major way to advancing the kingdom this year. Massive salvation of souls by equipping of the saints. Over my family, over my 
Aleluya Aleluya Prayer point number two I must emerge victorious over every battle I will not lose one battle this year lift your voice and pray no 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 not a financial battle not a marital battle are you praying Cornelia? not an academic battle thanks be to God who causes me always always to triumph There shall be no losses. There shall be no losses. There shall be no losses. Thanks be to God who causes me always. Who causes me financially? Who causes me spiritually? Who causes me in ministry to triumph? Hallelujah. Listen, we are praying. Listen, times of triumph. Listen, times of triumph are also times when war must end. Because a victor must be there. Are we together? There are many of us who have been dragging with too many things. Today is as if you are the winner. Tomorrow is as if it defeated you. You are going to prophesy. This must be my year of completion. A victor must emerge over this issue. Lift your voice and pray. Supernatural completion. Over that sickness. I can be healthy today. And sick tomorrow. My year of completion over that project. My year of completion over my family. My year of completion. The hand of Zerubbabel. The hand of Zerubbabel that begun this work. That same hand was completed. Is my year of completion. A year of completion by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many of us, God started speaking to us, but you got part instruction, and the other part has refused to be downloaded, and so you are grounded. You are going to say, Lord, this is the year when your voice will be clear. I'm tired of confusion in my life. I must hear that voice saying, This is the way. What ye in it? Lift your voice and pray. Confusion. I'm tired of wondering whether I should take a job or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should be in Zaria or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should be in ministry or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should marry or not. Whether I should be in business or not. Lord, let me hear your voice. And with it, let me hear the instructions for my next level. End confusion in my life. End confusion in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the spirit of boldness. The Bible says the righteous is as bold as a lion. The challenges that many of us will see, let me tell you the truth. When you see it physically, it will look like a Goliath. But David ran to him and said, you come against me with your spears. Now is the time where you need to run to some challenges. Whether they are ready for battle or not, you say, no, I'm ready now. Finances, I'm ready now. Spiritual life, I'm ready now. Lift your voice and cry for an impartation of 
boldness, boldness, no more fear, I will face it, no more fear, I will face it, no more fear, I will face that business and try it. no more fear, I will face this issue of joblessness and conquer it, no more fear, I will face my academics and conquer it. my fears I confront them I no longer will run away from them I face my fears I face my fears I face my fears it's my year of triumph hallelujah fire is burning in this place two more prayer points you are going to say Lord give me speed I ask you for it give me speed I don't want to move at the pace I moved last year lift your voice and pray give me speed speed in ministry speed in my spiritual life give me speed the result of 10 years let me produce it this year the result of 10 years let me produce it this year give me supernatural speed 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 hasten your word Hasten your word, hasten your word over my life. Hasten your word, hasten your word, hasten your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. And then we are done this night. Hold on. Hallelujah. Listen. One last prayer point. The Bible says the light shines in darkness. The light shines in darkness. From January till December. Everything you are going to be hearing on this pulpit will be an unveiling of divine strategies God instructed me this year he said let the people of God understand these mysteries my assignment to Koinonia this year is to open you up to the strategies that produce giants in this kingdom I will show you mysteries that if not oh, that God showed me I will not even teach it I told you there are personalized dealings of a man with God there are secrets that are for a man and his covenant with God alone that control great power God said don't hide anything from your people teach them the mysteries you have kept the mysteries that have produced results in your own life and that you have learned from people mysteries that are not obvious mysteries that are not taught in pastors conference mysteries that are not taught to the public you don't buy them in tapes the secrets behind the making of men you are going to pray and say father may my eyes see may my ears hear and may my spirit receive these divine strategies lift your voice and pray for every koinonia service lord i'm not ready to waste my time this year divine strategy the mystery behind the making of giants the mystery behind the making of stars the mystery behind men becoming systems of them
Alléluia. 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 I just, I just had something in my spirit and let me add it as a prayer point. And the Lord is saying that we should pray and ask him to roll away every shame this year. Listen. To roll away every shame. You can excel in one area, yet another area is not working. Naaman was a captain, but he was leprous. I'd like you to say, Lord, every shame, every, every, every shame, it must be rolled away this year. Take it from my life. Lift your voice and pray. I don't know what area you have seen shame, but brothers and sisters, cry to the God of heaven. Take the reproach away from my life. Take the reproach away from my life. Take the shame away from my life. That's what the Lord is saying we should ask Him. Take away the shame from our families. Take away the shame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every prophetic word from God as revealed may it come to pass in your life this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that everything that hitherto has been a hindrance to the word of God performing in your life this year it is swallowed up by the message of God I decree and declare over your life hear me every legal access Satan has had to make sure prophecy does not come to pass on legal ground the blood speaks for you this year in the name of Jesus Christ Listen, one of my assignments this year is to make sure you prosper financially. You must criticize me, say whatever. I must make sure the people of God prosper this year. I pray for you in advance. The wisdom and the favor, these twin forces that have produced wonders in the financial realm, the mystery of wisdom and the mystery of favor, may it work in your life this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you will not lose any single battle this year. You will not lose any single battle this year. I borrow the prophetic words of God's servant Bishop Oyedeko and I prophesy to you that this year your case is different. I say it again, this year your case is different. Hallelujah. A level of result. Listen, I trust God with you that 10 years track record of results, God will compress it and produce for you in this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. change will come tonight that my change will come tonight i won't give up lord i won't give up i'll keep pressing on till my answer comes if there is such an anointing i won't give up higher lord i won't give up I keep resting on And those of you who have been marked by the spirit of death who will cause it out of your life Are you listening to me? One more time look at your prayer request for the very last time and I mean business Ushers please get set because we'll collect the prayer requests so that when we start we don't need to be interrupted speak to it any goodbye forever I've waited for this time pack your load out of my life you are not reciting a poem you are prophesying 
He said, Son of man, prophesy. Son of man, prophesy. Look at it for the last time and say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are greater than this report. You are greater than this challenge. Tonight it will answer to your name. If it doesn't respect me, it will respect the name of Jesus. Now begin to pray in tongues as you pass that prayer request to the last person at the aisle. Outside, do it quickly. Just pass it to the last person at the aisle. Ushers, direct them, please. Quickly. Shata rabala kata branda kalabosa. Rembrete geteka shaprasta la kata. Sheraba kata balaraba. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, you will answer. This is the confidence that I have in you. Whenever I call you, This is my confidence, Lord. This is my confidence that I have in you. Whenever I go, you will handsome me. This is the confidence. minute i like you to pray for your loved ones say lord from here let this unction lead to their homes make sure you are praying call them by name call them by name they are not as anointed as you are standing for them call them by name call them by name say lord for my sister call them by name your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata pariketa, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. There's someone that had been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Sale. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. Please, ushers, position yourself inside and outside. 
because there will be a rain in this place. Hallelujah. Listen. You will be set free. Where did you come from? Please, technical, can you help us? Where did you come from? Bauchi, Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste. We are not going to have to mention cases individually. But when, when we call your case, please run out. We are going to pray and see as far as God wants to finish fast so that we'll end quickly. Heart conditions. Leave your seat and come out here quickly. Either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation. Quickly, quickly, appreciate them as they line up here. Ushers, coordinate them. Heart conditions. Please, come and line up here quickly. That devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Line up, line up, straight line. Here about another Rakata Baladabash. Line up, Usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait bye bye to it because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free, Baba. God will set you free, sir, and everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check if you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition. Don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe. Sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me. Because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go, 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 go. You are a devil of darkness. Come out, come out, come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus, out of her. Come, my sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing. As hands are laid, you will find out that it wasn't sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now, thou foul devil, let this girl go now. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, 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 go. Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John Capitalist, Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to, as they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. You are a devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. What's wrong? Be made free right now. In the name of Jesus. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Set you free. Set free right now. From every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside shout Jesus. 
in the same row outside the fire of God comes upon you now right now that oppression over your life two ladies sitting in the same row look at me we've not finished so we've not finished if it's possible if it's possible the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside no devil will survive today brother i see a serpent not a man come out of him now out of him now a devil of darkness come out of him come out of him i see a snake not a man come out of him Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. 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 I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come 
Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now. Come out of her. Come out of her. You're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at you. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since not when? Have mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to a toilet on my way coming back. Something you see? From my you, face always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm back, just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found yourself I, sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So and okay, come. You are her daughter. Let let her talk. I was taken to a hospital that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital that uh, it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what I'm so, saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then the following. Day, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, I told them, the doctor, that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So the, the following day in, in the prayer house. It's I time for I you to go. Go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus, fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Sorry, Mama. So I moved my leg. So I 
Okay, there, what what is, what to... okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What what did now, you come with right the now? Cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. We are bleeding. Then your hand. Uh, the hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat. So I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally. But up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I will pray for you. Amen. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God. Do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. 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 You feel pain? Yes. Where? You feel when you want to lift it up. In your fingers, yes. every pain go. I command it to go. You are of the spirit of darkness. Amen. I challenge you. Try lifting it up. Lift both of your hands up. Try it. Just try lifting your hands up. Can you? Try lifting it up. In the name of Jesus. You feel pains? You feel pains where? Yeah. Your shoulder. By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I cast that devil. I cast that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me. out blood I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood you cough all the time you cough out blood please hurry up you cough out blood literally who is the person inside are they hearing me outside quickly if you identify that person let the person come you cough out blood literally come out Please clear the way for them. Ah, look at oppression. This is what I'm seeing. Come on now, get out of her. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her, thou devil of darkness. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Not only this lady, but the members of her family have been oppressed. Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. 
Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness. You must go. This is not a negotiation. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, begin to clash the cymbal. One, two, three. Kashatabata. Go, 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 Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be opened. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. 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 
To teach you a lesson, Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely. Oh, you are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go, go, go. Go! Go! Out of her! Come out of her now! Come out of her now! Come out of her now! Fire upon you! Fire upon you! Fire upon you! As you touch me, you touch fire! As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit! He make it is out of her now! Out! 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 She's free. In the name of Jesus. Madam, it will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now! 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. Things are not going right. People speak all kinds of grammar and Satan is advancing. Mama, please come. Jangfa is going to speak to you. I sense, please, Mama. You are free. Take her outside. I see her coughing, whatever. Please take her outside for God's sake so we don't litter this place. Take her outside. I don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took. Take her outside. You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come, place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata tata Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiama. 
All right, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 You can't stand it. Go. 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 I prophesy to you today after today your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist Amen. are you listening to me every oppression those outside hear me every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus that challenge will bow don't let her go bring her back come sweetheart look at me just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost get lost get lost get lost up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors, and the King of glory will come in. In Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it all. We have the Son, so we have it all. Lay your hands on her stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Sound. Interpreter Selena, where she is walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay, okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See, tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep in the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother.
Take him to the front. Take him to the front. Those of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. Then, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now. My father, locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. 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 Sister, tonight is your night of salvation. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shut up. Out of them. 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 Bring them in. He who has the son. See, none of you will go back the same. Are you hearing me? None of you will go back. Who is Grace here? Yeah. Who is by the name Grace? You are standing here. Your name is Grace. Who is Grace? Come in, sir. He who has the Son has eternal life. We have the Son. So we have eternal life. Time is up. Thou foul devil. Let this guy go. Go. Fire on you. Fire upon you. That devil of oppression. That devil. Leave him now. Come out of him. 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 Now, fire upon you. Fire. Let him go. Let him go. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of you are not done. Out, out, out until he's completely free. Out. Little girl, be free. I separate you with this spirit. Go. 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 Time up. Time up. This lady is heavily oppressed. Out of her. Oh devil of darkness, you came for koinonia. You're welcome. Out of high in the name of Jesus. Stand up, pick him up. Fire on you right now. It's time. It's time. It's time. You must go. Go. Bring him. You must go. This lady has been so tight. Now, listen. I need to explain something to you. Please follow me. It's not the people. Listen. It doesn't mean they are possessed with demons. Are you listening to me? So get that clear. So that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around. There are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed. Does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know.
pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down. When he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? Lay your hands there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness. It's not cancer. It's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. As the sun has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, Who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. They did surgery. And it's not working. You want to walk? Yeah. You believe Jesus will set you yeah, free? Because. Clear the way for him. He was the son. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Can you walk without with it? Are you feeling pains? Yes. Right Where? Right what of this leg? Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I set you free. Amen. I command your leg to straighten out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't. Oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Melt away. Amen. Bring the chair Let him sit down. Please, ministers, move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Janfa is already ministering. 
some people outside just move and minister to people join them Kenny someone should take on this role Vivian I'm hearing the name Vivian pastor sir yes Vivian who is Vivian a fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name, be set free. Leave I alone. Vivian, what's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. Jabala <laughs> John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped? Yes, sir. Completely. Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Yes, hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things, school didn't work. Many things happened. Even Waiek, you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? Help me. Is that true? That's true? God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Out of him now come out of him i release your glorious destiny the days of oppression are over rise up beyond the photographer become the leader and the entrepreneur that god has destined for you to be. see listen it's not that this guy is lazy i hope you know that it's not that he's lazy ella come Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatatarata. Reketele monsubariata. Brento capriata laka, rakata ba 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 ba. Out, out, fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire, 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 fire. Be set free. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. 
in the name of Jesus lawful captives be free I release you that devil of temper and anger go go I command you be free the plague of death over your family go 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 I come in I command that terminal disease now it's time time up time up you are a devil go in the name of Jesus be free fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you that devil cannot stand fire upon you it's time to be free time to be free time to be free leave her let her go this lady has suffered too long you've held her destiny down go in the name of Jesus once again come I stopped praying for you for a reason please take this guy up this gentleman look at me That's your life. Listen, listen. I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain. And I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son. Has the time. My dear. Come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl. You are the one who celebrated your birthday today. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray. Oh, please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around. Please prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please, please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. But the Lord loves you. And tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free. From every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Be free. I set you free. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't please kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. 
while they are that devil let me tell you cast out every devil prophesy release people to their prophetic destinies let her go 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 time up thou devil of darkness be free now be free now I command that wicked spirit depart from your life fire right now all over your body I release the fire of the Holy Ghost all over you right now leave her let her go for she shall not be called Jabez that's what the Lord says I should say because you were born in sorrow you will not be called Jabez tonight I enlarge your coast in the spirit my dear look at me from today you will walk into your prophetic destiny see you don't know what it is that has happened to you now even you you cannot answer but look at me you are a very good girl are you listening to me but you are assuming the character of another person tonight the Lord sets you free this lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination but sometimes you see her doing things that even her does not know because I see the spirit of anger and rage I mean rage almost to kill somebody but the Lord sets you free and this is what I'm seeing in the spirit I'm seeing you move from the side and you are climbing a ladder and the Lord says restore this is what I prophesy restore this is what will begin to happen to you restore hallelujah if I Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them phone, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hmm. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. It used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir. Does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Estefanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido. From where? Haido. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Right? So disable all those man of God. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? 
you are going to be a great man but you are not yet that man so you will stay in the school of the spirit hmm? these teachings that you people jump and pride over they are basic things in the spirit let god work with you from today you begin a new journey hold my hands lord put a fire upon him right now in the name of the lord jesus christ a new beginning fresh start just breathe in and out as deep as you can in and out baba be free be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus now by the power of the holy ghost who brought him he came on his own what's wrong with you migraine put your hands on your head lay it on your head. be free now in the name of Jesus Christ come this fair lady you come please pour the prayer request be a mighty tool in the hands of God. Huh? Mighty tool. But he will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where's the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Now, foul spirit. Let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you saw the sun rising over your family and then I heard this song I will wait for you Jesus you're the sun in my the days of oppression are over you are standing on behalf of your family Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father for the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue, but... Those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please let's pray on the request. 
after we pray on the request I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak this is the time you will receive are you listening to me stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues Bishop Stretch your hands. Shaba la bara do krasta bara bara. Rateka te prate kere bara de bash. Paroka prande prate shida. Do miracles, oh God. Mareka te bara 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 bash. Solve every problem here, oh God. And for all our Facebook, Twitter. Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All oh, supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why. I found the reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion the creative and prophetic power lift your hands as I pray I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit hallelujah right now doors of delay I command you be open in the name of us delay be gone delay be gone delay delay in marriage delay in jobs I cause it to its root I release you in the name of Jesus Every academic bondage, every academic bondage, Kateka Leko Sopa, Repete Latu Sabati Adaka, in the name of Jesus, be free, be 
free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural joy in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every womb called Barry I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands. Oh. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. A new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting. A new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor, 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 favor. Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. S S A S. We change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. 
It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives. Once and for all. Bye bye to them forever. Bye bye to them forever. In your family. Bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs. Wonders. I release miracles. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. From the depth of my heart. According to the order of grace. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names, I command it to multiply. My brother, stand here. Bring this lady, come. This is what I'm demonstrating to you, what I saw in the spirit. That God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. Rekotosata. Marekete. Retoria. Mabratadi. Ekrekete. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives. Between today and the next 21 days. You will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands.
I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fire. The prophetic. The apostolic. The evangelistic. Teaching mantles. Pastoral graces. Leadership. Entrepreneurship. I fire it into your spirit. Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it, break through. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Right to the back. Take it, take it. Tonight, the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus And every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing, go back with that fire. Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater, receive it. Receive it. Jesus now listen the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish listen to me everybody inside and outside you're here and you've been struggling with your life the Lord has been speaking to you you know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, 
but you found yourself derailing please as you hear my voice do not harden your heart hallelujah at the count of three inside and outside i want you to leave your seat and rush out here the lord is calling you you've not given your heart to the lord leave your seat they are coming appreciate them right now leave your seat come right to the front clap for them they are coming thank you jesus you need to make it right with the lord come out or you've been born again once but you've derailed don't stay outside no matter how far you are find your way to the front forget about your friend please run quick 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 do it fast keep clapping koinonia thank you lord for a harvest don't sit back there are still more people outside the holy ghost is speaking to you don't wrestle with him sister brother the time has come there are still more people i see outside keep coming we'll wait for you for one minute keep coming no matter what you've done there is a fresh start celebrate them the devil is a liar he will not hold you back the devil is a liar the devil is a liar hallelujah keep coming keep coming you are welcome keep coming hallelujah thank you brothers and sisters for making this decision hallelujah i like to pray for you i like to lead you to jesus christ it doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone the lord can give you a new start tonight are you listening to me the lord can give you a new start tonight no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone no matter how far you have gone lift your right hand to heaven and say after me lord jesus mean it from your heart this is not a bible recitation lord jesus i come before you acknowledging you as my savior i believe you died for me i believe you rose again for me today i receive the gift of salvation come into my heart give me a new start in the name of jesus i denounce sin i denounce satan make me a new person fill me with your holy spirit from today forward ever backward never the things I used to do, I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord of my life. Father, I commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision. Because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to these ones. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus. My brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus appreciate them in jesus name now in one minute i'd like you to follow the elder i said the elders follow the ushers hallelujah and they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up when sir jakes monday tomorrow tomorrow what time tomorrow 7 p.m on the dot please be at chapel pastor jakes will be following you up we have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please, the very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right, so that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
now follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We're here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Out. 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 You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. Alright, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. You are free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have come back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord connect you to destiny help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan. We set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They will have your details. And we will pray for you. And follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back.
Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Press Bio Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intac Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO Real Eagle Sprints, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes. You may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seeds here and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, so God. As we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields. And we supply welfare to many people. My God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this. It will only be used for the glory of the king. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leading you the, env the envelope, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation, Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28th February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now, the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. And by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the 1st of March, 
Are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it 